week one of CRL league play. It's going to be a good match between Northwood Blue and Rochester University. So we're excited to see how this one goes. Um, we got people loading in right now. We had a little bit of updating issues earlier on. So sorry for the delay. Uh, but Rocket League's on their end. Some of their servers has been having issues. So we're getting that all sorted out. It looks like we just got the confirmation that people are going to be coming in shortly. We do have Northwood joining. Rochester just seems to be joining in. So we got some of the players in already for Northwood. We have Buddy, Lion Blaze, and Hockey playing. And on Rochester's end, we have Skies, Luca, and we also have Knight, I believe, is their third player. So we're going to be uh, getting started in just a couple seconds here. But like I said, week one, want to come out with a bang. Uh, Northwood known, obviously, to put on the pressure early, like we saw in the last game that I was able to cast here. So we're hoping for another start like that. Um, it should be a good game. Uh, Rochester's definitely going to put up a bit more of a fight than uh, the last team that we saw on stream here. But th nothing that we can't uh, handle, and hopefully we'll be able to stifle any offense that they might have here today. Um, we're looking forward to uh, some pretty flashy plays, obviously. Uh, we don't have Loom uh, subbing in for today. We're going to have a uh, hockey buddy and lion. So the full main squad here, um, looking to see some of the mechanics come out and kind of see that uh, the highlight reel worthy goals that uh, sometimes are just flashing, other times actually needed to uh, get by some of the defenders here. So that's kind of uh, the things that we're looking for, and it should it should be a good match. We're getting started any second now as soon as we see um, the confirmation here. But otherwise, yeah, week one, obviously, um, our goal is to go undefeated. We got uh, pretty close. I think we only dropped a couple games uh, last uh, year. So obviously, we want to continue with that momentum, make sure that we have the basically a free ticket all the way to the Worlds yet again. Um, again, week one, lots of things lots of things can happen. Lots of things have changed since then uh, between rosters and uh, certain teams, picking up new players and teams, dropping players. Um, but other than that, uh, looks like... We should be pretty much good to go. Yeah, we're all set. Awesome. All right, we're going to hop into game one here and uh, get going. Looks like players are just about to hop on the field. Just waiting on their coach to hop in. All right, here we go. Loading in any second now. We got Luca hopping in for Rochester here, and uh going to be a good game. See Northwood rocking the CRL World Championship tag 2022. I'm also going to be joined here by Slu today. Sorry, sorry. I was just setting up the stream there for a second. Uh, and we went ahead and there. And uh, we're off the rip. We're going to see Northwood giving Rochester a bit of pressure here as well. He's looking for his teammates. He's got to get back there. You see Lion Blaze playing the uh, Hockey coming in, making the play, kind of slowing it down, controlling it. It's a nice flip, but hits the black post there. Sky is able to clear. We got a double kick between Luka and Knight. Luka is able to carry it out with a bit of possession. Obviously, that's a little bit more skilled than we saw from the last team here. They're going to have the ability to carry it out. They're going to have the ability to uh, create some offense on the counter attack here. So, we got to make sure that Luka is getting their rotation down, making sure they're not getting caught. And uh, the pockets open, kind of like that. Lion Blaze on the goal line, able to make the save. Um, uh, feeling out the opponent, uh, new season, so we're going to make sure that the, the speed of the game is uh, something that we can all handle here, and I'm uh, sure game one is going to be a little bit more tame than some of the other games, but you never know, no one is not known to take it light. That was uh, a little bit scary there, as uh, North Lake seemed to head with the head, but Hockey was falling, and he was feeling a little bit more shame there, and it's looking like that early pressure that North would have had, and North would had, is uh, all the time, and you can see uh, Rochester is really going to get back in the half right now. Uh, as we thought, Sky is going to be double tap, but the ball just water plugs down, he's unable to get the lead. And he kind of gets out of the back, but quickly comes in the hot by not giving him any space to breathe, and he sets up a nice air jump to the screen, and he's able to fall up. There's a shot for him, and goal for Hockey, what a lead off the wall. Yeah, very, very good play between uh, Lion Blade and Hockey there. Obviously, we saw Lion taking control, not just giving the ball away, but making sure to get that air dribble in the middle of the field, creating a bit of pressure. And, uh, Rochester was there to make the initial play, but once playing it to the side, we had a good rotation from Hockey and that ball, and that hold their uh, rotation there. So, good face off from Rochester, and he got a demo there. Hockey able to take the goal, but the follow jump shot, also able to make that save. Really impressive defense here coming off of the north with right off the start. That was a bit of a scary situation, but I'm sure Hockey was sweating a little bit there, even as someone's playing at his power. Uh, we got a bit of control here, but getting stifled by Knight, uh, not able to get out of the uh, line, but he's able to 
attack there. Do have another backboard cut. Then, Northwood's kind of getting caught on their back foot here. Maybe a little bit slow to the ball. Unable to get uh, the play that they wanted, but line plays is a little bit to the top of the net there. That is not what you want to see Northwood there for a bit. Uh, just off the kickoff, Rogers applying all that pressure and a great counter attack and good control by Lion. Holding it up, waiting for the team to get behind him and getting that big flick. Out of the if doing any chance, they to their shots. So far, they've just been shooting great at hockey. And it's not been working. She's been a great ball for him. Yeah, I honestly couldn't agree more there. We didn't see Rochester making too many mistakes here. Um, obviously, with a team like North, is super critical. Any mistakes are going to capitalize on them. Rochester, with that early pressure, they want to make sure that they maintain that. I don't think that's their issue, but as mentioned by uh, Slu earlier, the biggest issue at the moment is just the fact that uh, Rochester is unable to get those shots on net and in an actual scoreable position. Uh, with a team like Northwood, you can't just throw it on net and hope that it goes in. you got to be uh, actual, actually being precise with your shots to make sure it's going to get in the back of net. So far, they just haven't put those meaningful shots on net. And as we're watching right now, here comes the Rochester offense. Just, again, not quite the precision that they need. They just keep hitting the backboard, the wall, the post, everything besides the back of the net. Sometimes just even straight into hockey, and they're keeping a good pressure, but just unable to find that touch that they need to finish, and oh my. Again, <laughs> lots of flailing coming out of Rochester here. You can tell that they definitely are playing just half a step behind Northwood when it comes to the speed of the game, which is, I think, the biggest reason why they aren't able to get these meaningful shots on, because when you're on your back foot, obviously, at the, at the level they're playing at, no disrespect to Rochester, they are able to get those shots on net, which takes skill, but the fact that they are on their back foot makes it super difficult for them to get that meaningful shot, and that's why they're not able to find the back of the net there. So I think if they're able to just pick up the pace of the game just a little bit more, kind of calm down and make sure they're controlling the game, uh, they're going to have the boost, they're going to have the ball, and they're going to have the space that they need. But as of right now, they're just cons consistently coming in and flailing at the ball, which is kind of giving up possession. And then these counterattacks where we're seeing the little bit shine, uh, which is where the two goals have come so far. Just uh, playing really solid defense, making sure not to make uh, mistakes back there. And whenever uh, Rochester seems to overextend a bit, that's when Northwood takes the opportunity to accept the open and just it there in the ball. Oh, they had the advantage there, and this could be a shot potentially, but Knight just not there to follow up. And a little oh. flipper set from Lyon, but here it is. The open net. Lyon went for a little flipper set there and just didn't quite get the touch or get a big flick off. And, uh, just Unfortunately, it, it did look like that first touch was way too far to the right side of the ball, just unable to get the touch that he wanted, uh, that first touch there more specifically. He got the reset and just kind of flipped past the ball, making it hard for him to get a meaningful uh, clear on that. And then Luca, which is good, good sign for Rochester there that they are taking advantage of any mistakes that Northwood are making because when it happens, you need to make sure you're there because it doesn't happen often. Line off the ceiling, great pass to Buddy who takes his time. In the mid gets a 50 to the back corner. Hockey, not quite able to get a shot on target. It wasn't that powerful of a shot. Uh, it still was a good chance, and oh, that's, that's the goal. Seeing what Rochester just did Northwood. Northwood, again, showing that anything you can do, we can do better, and more specifically, we can do three times more. Uh, resulting in a 3-1 lead for Northwood here with 11 seconds left. You know, I don't want to cast a cursor here, but it's not looking too good for Rochester in game one. But overall, I think this series is going to be a good one. We're seeing Rochester putting up a fight, which is, uh, you know, obviously the most entertaining for us to see and uh, uh, for us to cast here. So uh, definitely going to be a good series here, but as time is dwindling down, uh, Rochester, again, holding their footing, making sure they're making use of any attempts, trying to get a little bit of momentum. Ooh. Really good redirect by Luca. Oh, oh my, my lord. <laughs> Not quite the momentum that you want to see coming for Northwood here. Rochester getting a really good attempt at the end there. You know, they can definitely build off of that. So we'll see if uh, that's something that they're going to be able to do. We do see the shots here um, really close. We have eight shots for Northwood here, and we have seven shots for Rochester. So in general, they're playing a really, really close game when it comes to uh, the ability to shoot. However, um, it's the time on offense that we're seeing where Rochester's just on offense way more, not getting as meaningful of touches, and that's kind of what we're seeing uh, with the, the goal differential here. Yeah, the, that shot right there at the end to try to give Rochester a little bit of momentum was just off target. It was almost a uh, Tove-esque shot. <laughs> Yesterday uh, in the Keanu versus uh, UNLV game, and it was game five OT with about two and a half, uh, two and a half into OT. 
OT. Okay. Uh, Tub hit a absolute <laughs> clean redirect, just putting upper 90 past comp. That would have been right there with that shot as maybe one of the best in CRL for this week. Uh, our chat is right here with us, so we see you guys. We'll I think I fixed. You. I think I fixed the issue there, so we should be good. Looks like we're gonna get into game number two here. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna double check and make sure that our audio is working here. We're getting a couple messages saying that casting. Uh, there's no audio coming through. Hopefully it's all good. All right, looks like we are ready for game two here. Game two starting off here, taking the face off. Knight and Buddy killing it. It's a 50. Hockey and Luca to get the second 50 off the face off. Hockey getting the better of that. Lion Blazer with a really good challenge. The other 50 taking it to the backboard. Buddy's going to be there for the catch. Not quite there for the double tap, though. Almost getting passed down to him by Luca. Luckily, that's uh, thrown away for them. Lion Blaze is up, getting the double touch there. Almost getting a third touch, which he does on the backboard for a fourth touch, pinching it out. But he's going to have to play a little bit back here. Controlling the ball, making sure he's getting the boost, which he misses in the corner. This is an opportunity to stifle the uh, counterattack from Buddy here. Hockey's able to recover there. No one turning in for Rochester. Luca putting it off the backboard. Hockey's up to clear it away, getting a second touch here, or at least putting pressure on that, making sure Knight can't just put in an open net. Cutting it past Buddy there. Lion Blaze in the awkward position, able to make the save on the goal line there. Hockey Third. clearing up to Lion Blaze. A little musty over to Hockey there. Gets the reset, but he's not able to do anything with it. Luca off the sidewall, clearing it towards the middle. Thrown away by Buddy. Rochester is getting the chances they're looking for. They're just not quite again able to put them away uh, someone from northwood is always right there to finish the or to finish the save and keep it away um but yeah as I, we keep talking oh my that is a huge miss from luca oh no that was set up perfectly he just wasn't there in time it seemed like or just ran out of booze i don't know what happened just not what you want to see especially if you're down 1-0 in the series so far yeah, it looks like Buddy's going to be taking up hockey on the sidewall, trying to get Luca to get the ball off his car. We see a clear back to the corner from Buddy to Lion Blaze. He's able to get around one. Sky's going to be fake challenging here. Lion Blaze with space, getting hit away by Knight here to the corner. But hockey is there, stopped by Skies. Really good opportunity for Northwood here. Rochester playing a solid defensive uh, position there. And now on the counterattack, Luca causing a little bit of mayhem, making sure that boost isn't always readily available for Northwood here. Lion Blaze up to Buddy off the side while Hockey is going to be there. But it's kind of thrown over to Knight, who then gets a pretty easy touch out. Hockey gets a kill in the middle right over to Skies. We see a good opportunity here from Skies. Off the backboard, no one there. Luca with the shot Ooh. saved by Lion Blaze. Oh, really my. well, really, really well position, uh, positioned by Lion, able to get that save. I, I, I thought that was going to be upper 90 there. That was, that was their chance, and... Unfortunately, Lion is never mind. They got another one, and this time Knight able to put it away. Hockey just not able to uh, recover. He looks like he got bumped, and it just made him really awkward. Unfortunately, this time he's not able to save it, and he's not able to save everything. Rochester with the first lead of the series, 1 0. Yeah, and uh, for a team like Rochester, Making sure you're taking advantage of uh, those those bumps there. Any air dribble bumps, any demos, any bumps, you can get a net. It's one of those things that you just aren't able to defend. If you're hockey and you're in net and you're getting bumped by one and you're unable... Oh, quick counterattack by Buddy here, but let me finish my statement. If you're getting bumped, there's nothing you can do to recover there. And that's one of those goals that you can almost guarantee if you get if you catch Northwood off. Um, so those are something that Rochester should, Rochester should definitely be looking for. But uh, Buddy able to bury it in the bottom right-hand corner there for uh, the, the tying goal here, two and a half half minutes into the game that was a huge dunk by hockey there he just got that second slight little touch that stopped the clear from rochester and that set him up perfectly but off kickoff northwood looking to go on that attack and nothing quite there they're just gonna take their time work their way out of the back again hunter actually going for a pinch sorry line boys they're going for a pinch and a pass up to hockey with a little flick again another pass back made buddy there again turned away Hockey just going to take his time back, wait for his team to get behind him. That way they don't give up any open nets. And here comes Lion Blaze on the air dribble. He has Hockey on the backboard if he needs. Ooh, that would have been a highlight reel worthy play right there. The waterfall down to Hockey, who was actually in position. Fortunately, unable to connect there. We do see Buddy diving in. 
giving Hockey ball possession. You see Buddy going for the bump. Hockey able to take advantage of the pressure that Buddy is putting on there. Something that I was mentioning earlier, just with uh, the previous statement about Rochester taking advantage of him, we see uh, Northwood taking advantage of the exact same concept. It's one of those things that even if you aren't even making contact on the player there, just the peer pressure, the peer factor that you aren't able to take a certain flight path makes it almost impossible to get the ball there. And uh, we see Hockey able to get it off the bar down there, uh, capitalizing on that open net. Who else but hockey? <laughs> I've been tracking the uh, stats for each of the players throughout the uh, first four weeks in NACE, and currently hockey leads the team with 34 goals in four weeks, averaging just about two, it was like 2.67 goals per game. Who else would score the go-ahead goal besides hockey here? There we go, hockey coming up with another opportunity. Stifled away by Luca off into the corner. We see Luca with possession, Buddy getting a little bit of a touch on it, but Luca's still there trying to get a little bit of offense generated here. We see an opportunity, but Rochester's a little bit late to the play, causing them to throw it back up to Hockey, who's on the backboard ready. Getting a bit of an air dribble out. Knight pinching it back to his own corner. Back to Luca, who's able to clear it. Buddy up in the air already. Going for a team pinch, looks like, with Lion Blaze. Unable to score it there by Buddy himself, and it uh, looks like it's going to be a counterattack here from Rochester. Lion just not able to get around the ball there. Kind of just hit it wide. Unfortunately, it looks like Rochester is going to get a counterattack, but quickly turned away by Hockey. And not wanting to let them out is this Rochester attack. With seven seconds left, they're going to go for this tying goal here. And the here's a chance. Here. It's oh. up in the air, one second. All right. We'll see if Rochester is able to keep this in the air long enough to get a counterattack going. Maybe be able to take this into an OT. Looks like Knight's going to be low boost. Gets a shot on net. Taken away by Hockey, Lion Blaze up in the air. Is he going to kill it? Looks like he's going for a little bit of a fancy uh, 360 pop here. Oh, almost <laughs> buried by Hockey there again. Trying to make his uh, stat sheet more and more padded. Really well done by Northwood here. Taking advantage of uh, some of the missed opportunities by Rochester. Those counterattacks are being uh, utilized here by Northwood. And another thing that we're, we've been seeing is, uh, again, those, those bumps coming out. Uh, Northwood taking advantage of the strategy that Rochester's been trying to do here. Uh, Shot-wise, we see... 11 shots here from Northwood, and we have seven shots out from Rochester. So we see that uh, differential kind of breaking away here. Uh, really important for Rochester to make sure that they're not getting caught, uh, lacking on shots here. We know that shots uh, obviously are attempts on, on the goal, and uh, any opportunity to score here is uh, how you win games, right? You can't win games through defense purely. So Rochester is going to do their best to make sure that they're following through with these opportunities, making sure they're trying to uh, – something that I would recommend to them is just go, go for more of those uh, air dribble bumps, Go for more of those bumps in net and try and get those demos. We have yet to see a single demo come out in either of these two games, and uh, I think that might be the thing that Rochester's have been lacking on that might allow them to uh, to score some more goals here and try and do a, a bit of a reverse sweep action here. And what a kickoff by Northwood off the start. Lion just quite, or not quite there, hitting the post, but not letting them out as hockey, putting it right to the backboard. Like Buddy's buddy, going be on the ceiling. the ceiling. Oh, he was looking for Lion, just not quite able to reach him. Hockey going for the big 50 in the corner. And going to have to reset their offense here, Northwood. Pass up to Buddy. He drops it over to Hockey. Not, not quite there, but still. On the attack is his Northwood squad. This pressure is, uh, is intense coming here from Northwood. We haven't quite seen pressure like this from Northwood just yet. We spent almost the entire minute in Rochester's half. And again, we see the ball being sent into Rochester's half already with a Northwood player in the air. This is how you see the difference between the two teams. We see Northwood so confident with one another that they're able to pre-jump in the air so deep uh, as the ball is still in their half. And every time it gets there, Buddy, oh with my. an impressive <laughs> angle. That is razor sharp. Oh my. We love to see it. Lion Blaze being called off. Buddy said, no, 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 I got this. This one's going on my stat sheet. Absolutely gorgeous goal here from Buddy. What a shot. Just tapping it to the backboard. And I think he got it underneath the Rochester defender as well. What an insane play by Buddy there. And it's going to give them that 1-0 lead, but... Not to give up too quick is this Rochester team who quickly was on the counterattack there. But oh, oh! All right. Two missed shots coming out here from Northwood. Definitely not what you want when you're trying to build this lead and end 
this in this game. Try not to take this over to a game four here, but anything can happen. There's plenty of time left, and Rochester is uh, getting a bit lucky here, uh, making <laughs> kind of taking advantage of some of these goals that aren't ending up in, in coming to fruition. But you cannot be relying on a dream when you're uh, Rochester here, especially with a lot of games left to go if you are trying to see this all the way through. Uh, definitely going to have to create some pressure here. We, Like I said, from the very beginning, we've been in Rochester's end all the way. You can tell how hungry Northwood is right now to make it. Oh, my Lord! Make some pressure. Make the lead bigger and bigger. But, wow, Skies with s responding almost immediately. Buddy with an incredible goal. Skies just one-upping him. I mean, it wasn't quite in the bottom of the net as clean as Buddy's was, but that's an impressive shot nonetheless. Wow. Skies is just saying, whatever you can do, I can do better. And just insane read. And what an even tighter angle, especially with all three Northwood defenders in net. That is just an insane shot. And wow. Oh, yeah. You know, that one's definitely getting clipped and putting on put on Twitter later. <laughs> Open net here. Oh, Luca unable to get their hockey, taking advantage of the foundations of Rocket League here. Obviously, you're going to have your mechanical your goals. You're going to have your flashy goals. You're going to have those highlight reel goals. However, it's worth just as much as those missed rotations put bearing it on an open net. It's one of those things that, as Rochester, clearly they have the mechanics to do what they need to. Now they just need to go back to their foundations, play a really solid game of, uh, of Rocket League here, and uh, not try and get in their heads too deep with uh, trying to go for triple flip resets or some of these crazy angles. Just make sure that they're actually going to be in, in the correct place at the correct time and uh, build off of that. Plenty of time left for them to get this goal back. We've seen that they have the opportunity to score. We've seen them uh, put a couple balls in the net here on the Northwood side. Um, so definitely not down and out for the count. Um, but as each second ticks down, you can tell the pressure is going to put on more and more. And uh, Northwood trying to do the exact same with their offensive pressure, making sure that not only is the clock making them a little bit no more nervous, but the amount of shots that are going on net and the amount of uh, opportunities that they could make mistakes on the defensive end can increase as time goes on. And Lion Blade just going to try to take his time, unable to get anything hockey. Going to control, and there's a, a huge demo. Lion responds getting night and trade for hockey, but... And there's another one, Buddy falling. There's only two Northwood defenders on the field right now. Rochester definitely showing a lot of fight left in them. We did mention earlier on that we had yet to see any demos, and I mentioned that that was going to be something to look for. Really, really good save by Luki here, stopping Lion Blaze, uh, wanting to get on that squad of uh, sharp angles being scored today. Fortunately, not able quite to join it, but another demo coming out from Buddy. Here are the demos coming out. We see a lot of this pressure. Uh, open open fields, as I'm saying it, open fields are going to be created, and those are the opportunities that you want to get scored on. For Rochester's fans, you're heartbroken. Unfortunately, North was the one that is able to capitalize on that open field. Buddy bearing it into an open net. What I assume to be great comms by the Northwood team, Hockey just able to find the back pass straight to Buddy, who's able to bang it into the open net. And... Rochester are going to get the better of the 50 here, and they're going to go for another Ooh. double tap. Sky is going for part two of his clips today. Uh, just not quite able to get there, at, or not. Shot on that triple commit. Actually, it was more stuff than anything. Really good bump by Knight here, popping it up. This team is in the air. That could have been something, but no one from the Rochester side is there. Just, again, that trust level is not quite there with the squad as we see it compared to Northwoods. Um, pop back up to his backboard, almost an own goal. No one quite there to capitalize on it. Luca needs to calm down. Really, really good bump coming out here from Skies. Again, these are the things that we've seen. There's 35 seconds. If they're going to do anything, now is the time to do it. Pull out all tricks you have up your sleeves. Go for all the demos you can. Go for the bumps and definitely don't go for double commits in the corner with zero boost. That's not what you want to see from a Rochester uh, uh, side here. We have a counterattack. Luca in the air. Knight also in the air. Another double commit. Again, you can tell that they're trying to do anything they can to get a shot on net, but again, you got to get back to that foundational Rocket League. I think it might be a little bit too late in the game to uh, teach how to play the game at a, a strong level here. Fortunately, these rotations are just a little bit too uh, too crazy, and they're not able to bury anything in the back of the net with the last couple of seconds here. And that's going to do it for uh, Northwood v. Rochester. That is, yeah, that's going to do it for week one. Uh, it was a great game from uh, both teams here. Um, Super yeah. happy with uh, how everything was going. Really, really good games, though. Honestly, we saw some incredible goals here. We saw um, some some really good close games. Even though it might have felt a little bit lopsided, uh, 
Rochester spending a lot more time on Northwood side the first half of the games. Um, kind of something that I anticipated after seeing the first 30 seconds of the first match, that uh, the opportunities for uh, Northwood here are going to be coming in some of the later games, wanting to make sure that Rochester is uh, able to be felt out a little bit, kind of see how this squad is performing together. It is week one, so there's a lot of time to develop, a lot of time for scrims, and this chemistry to come together for some of the other teams. Obviously, Northwood, a veteran team, a team that has been playing together for uh, a full season already, and a team that has performed quite well. It's something that we are expecting Northwood to kind of continue with that chemistry, and we saw uh, quite incredible chemistry here from the Northwood squad, uh, having the ability to be in the air in the other team's half as you're clearing it, knowing that the ball is going to get there. And um, the mechanics were definitely not lacking today. So a mix between uh, good Rocket League and mechanics are what separates uh, Northwood and Rochester here. Uh, really happy with Northwood's performance, as I'm sure they are happy with it. Uh, but we do all hope you guys enjoyed today's casting and today's games between Northwood and Rochester in week one of CRL. We really hope to see you guys back soon. We're going to have more games of Rocket League. We have plenty of other games. I know Smash is going to be streamed. So if you guys are interested, drop a follow. Make sure to tune in for some of our other streams, and hopefully we'll see you back for week two.